This week on the LTU Sports Report, we get into all the fall sports action around campus and get to know some of our student athletes. We have exclusive interviews with the women's volleyball team. And finally, football is back after 72 years, and we take you inside the exciting reboot season opener. Don't go anywhere because the LTU Sports Report starts right now. <laughs> LTU Sports Report is brought to you by Varsity Brands, elevating student experiences and sport, spirit, and achievement. The City of Southfield, the center of it all. Michigan First Credit Union. Snethkamp Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram, serving Metro Detroit since 1926. Hungry Howie's Dough Razor, your next fundraiser comes with flavored crust. Striker, discover your strengths and follow your passion with us. Hello everybody and welcome to the first ever LTU Sports Report. I'm your host, Gabe O'Neill. And I'm your host, Kiara Hay. We know that Lawrence Technological University is known as a school for its academics, but there's a whole other side to LTU that we're going to be showing you today. That's right, for the next 30 minutes we're going to bring you exclusive interviews and in-game highlights, including the first Blue Devils football game in 72 years, which we're celebrating here today at the L2 tailgate. But as you can see, the atmosphere here is amazing. It's definitely an exciting time to be a Blue Devil. But before we get into all that, the women's soccer team is having an amazing season, so let's get into some highlights. In the second game of the 2018 women's soccer season, the Shawnee State University Bears from Portsmouth, Ohio came to Southfield to take on our Lady Blue Devils. We jumped to late in the first half, LTU looking to get on the board first. Some nice passing down from midfield finds Lauren Waziak, who plays a little give and go with junior Randy Jeanette, and Wazi finishes it beautifully, popping the ball up over the Shawnee keeper and in. Devils take a 1-0 lead. It didn't take long for the ladies to strike again. Just three minutes later, Lindsey Schubach off the steal carries it into Bear territory, dishes it to Waziak, who plays a nice touch right to a streaking Caitlin Mathers and would take care of the rest, burying it just inside the post. The Lady Blue Devils were up 2-0 before the half and the defense would hold strong in the second to get the shutout. In the first night game ever to be played at the new LTU athletic field is the women's soccer team taking on the Roosevelt University Lakers. Early first half action, Lakers threatening in close to the LTU net. A cross pass attempt to clear by Erica Hoffman ends up in front of a Roosevelt midi for a shot, but it is not a problem for freshman keeper Madison Turley in her first collegiate start. Closing in on the half, the Lady Blue Devils pushing up field. A nice pass to the middle of the field that finds Lauren Waziak, who plays a nice lead ball up to Sydney McClay, who beats the defender, and with a sliding shot, finds the back of the net to put LTU up one to nothing at the half. The brand new stadium lights light up the field for the second half. With only a few minutes left in the game, Roosevelt, with a last ditch effort, plays the ball deep in the Devils territory, but junior defender Madison Smith is just too fast for the Laker attack and shuts down any chance of a shot. The ladies improve to three and one on the season and the defense stands tall as they get their second shutout of the season, one to nothing. From last year, we're better than, than most of my upperclassmen from last year. So that's why the senior leadership, they're gonna be uh, they're going to be good this year. It's so nice to be able to run with people because sometimes over the summer I'd be running and I'd just like stop because I didn't feel like it. But now everyone's like pushing each other to go like faster and faster on workout days. And it's just a lot more enjoyable overall. I'm really excited to be back here this summer. I wish we could have moved in a little earlier because it's a lot easier running with your team mentally. It's a lot easier. You're there to push each other. You don't have to run on your own, which is it can be difficult, especially in the summer when it's really warm. And so like a lot of Team bonding is like really, really important at that camp. Just sort of like hanging out and having a good time and getting to know each other. Um, but my freshman year when we went, that was where I kind of made my like five closest friends for all of college because 
you're kind of suffering together, running together, it's hot, it's, um, you're in a cabin, it's just a time to grow with each other and it's really exciting. Two of my top returners coming back and one is an actual senior. Every year she's gotten much better, that's Marissa. She's come close to qualifying for the national meet every year and this is her last year and she's been training really, really well so uh, I'm looking forward to taking her for the first trip to nationals which would be the first ever for uh, Lawrence Tech University for girls because we've never taken anybody, any team or any individual to the, the national meet. Hey guys, once again, I'm your host Kiara Hay and I hope you've been enjoying the show so far. Coming up next, we have highlights from the football season opener. They're excited. Yeah. I know you're excited. Southfield truly is the ideal place to live, work, and play. Well, it's a very uh, exciting time in the city of Southfield. Great neighborhoods, great city services, and Fortune 500 companies. Southfield has something for everyone. Recognized as Michigan's premier business address, home to world-class educational institutions, voted one of the nation's most livable metro area suburbs. Southfield is the center of it all. You ready, Darius? Let's do it. Anybody want an autograph? Autograph? We're here for the stuffed crust pizza. Stuffed crust pizza? Hey, who do you think you are? End in the line, pal. Flavor fanatics love stuffing their faces with our stuffed flavored crust. Get one for only $2 more on any large original round pizza. Hungry? Howie's! Fanuc America is the number one supplier of robots, CNCs, and factory automation. Our certified automation training prepares students for high-tech careers in advanced manufacturing. Manufacturers use automation to maximize productivity. That's why high-paying careers in advanced automation are in demand today. Our CERT program provides manufacturers and educators a STEM-based curriculum centered on robotics and automation training. Contact Fanuc to learn more about our certified automation training programs. Nineteen forty six was the last time the Blue Devils played on the gridiron before canceling the program. Seventy two years later, football is officially back at Lawrence Tech University. The opponent, the Golden Grizzlies of Oakland University. After electing to receive to begin the half, LTU was hungry to put some points on the board. On first down, quarterback Tyler Kolka on the run, heaves one deep for Spencer Iaquinto, who brings it down for the first Blue Devils touchdown in the modern era. Game tied now at seven after an OU touchdown. Third and four from the 25. Kolka rolls out once again and hits Terrell Cunningham in stride, and he would take it to the house. 4-6 LTU, up 14-7 going into the second quarter. Jump to the last minute of play in the half. Blue Devils with a 21-14 lead and threatening on the Oakland 30. Kolka drops back and heaves one deep to Cam Jamison, who hauls it in between three defenders to take a two-touchdown lead going into the break. The LTU defense looked strong, causing a safety just 49 seconds into the half. Now it's Tommy Lappin making the play, causing the ball to hit the ground. Robbie Best is there to scoop it up and take it to the house. The defense made a statement holding OU to negative one rushing yards and putting up eight points of their own on the day. When it rains, it pours. And just before the storm came in, causing the game to be canceled after the third quarter, Ahmad Sabah takes the give from five yards out and scores the final Lawrence Tech touchdown of the game. A dominating performance from the boys in blue in the reboot season opener with a final score of 53 to 14. Gabe O'Neill sat down with Coach Duvendeck to break down some of the X's and O's from Saturday's game. All right, everyone, I'm here with head coach Jeff Duvendeck after an amazing win in their season debut of the reboot season of 2018. Coach, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm doing good. So take us through a little bit of the emotion of yesterday and how it felt to get that one under your belt. Well, obviously, leading up to that, our kids were really excited. Our staff was really excited, you know, it had been two years in the making. So it was high emotion coming into it. I thought our kids did a great job of controlling that. It was exciting. 
kids were excited. You know, it's a great, great start to the season. Okay, so just take us through the atmosphere a little bit of the entire organization and the entire community of LTU coming together and supporting you guys. We had a record-setting attendance of almost 4,000. You know, we went to breakfast in the morning, team breakfast, and on my way back, you know, it's 9.30 or so, and uh, I'm driving through campus and everyone's already out tailgating. There's tons of people out there barbecuing, playing bags, all that stuff. Um, so it felt like a true college game. You could hear the band warming up. I heard they had to turn people away because we were at capacity. Our student section did a great job. Our band did a great job. It was just an exciting atmosphere to be a part of. But we're going to start getting into the highlights here, get break down the X's and O's a little bit. We're going to jump to the third touchdown of the game. Tyler Kolka, check down pass, running in for the end zone. We're going to play the clip and let you break it down for us. Okay. So here we call what we call a naked. We've got full flow out of the backfield, trying to pull linebackers and safeties away from where our routes are coming back to. So he fakes it to our running back, our tight ends pulling, um, and the linebacker's running with him, and he kind of has a two-on-one on him. If he had sat more in the lane, in the running lane, we would have dumped it off to the tight end. Since he's running with our tight end, you know, he tucks it and runs, easy score. Second quarter, touchdown pass to C.J. Thompson. Uh, let's get right into that. We had just thrown an incomplete screen pass on third down. It was a three-by-one formation, and their safety was overplaying the three-by side. We're moving C.J. from the front side to the back side in his route, and he's setting up the safety to believe he's going front side. So we get inside leverage on him, get the pass, head around, he sees the safety, sidesteps him, and walks in the end zone. And we know the offense put up a record setting 53 points, never been done in LTU history, although the last season was played 72 years ago. Just tell me a little bit how that feels to know that your first game, you come out and you just dominate. I'm not even sure they had the forward pass the last time LTU played, so it was probably a little harder to score 53 points back then. You know, obviously the first five uh, drives of the game, uh, we came up with touchdowns. Absolutely. And switching gears, we're going to go to the other side of the ball. We're going to take it to early in the third, very early in the third, where your defense really stepped it up after giving up two touchdowns in the first half. Yeah, I believe this is their first drive uh, out of the gate. And, uh, you know, we had talked about setting a tone. Special teams put us in good situation, uh, tackled them inside the 14. We had just moved. We get good pressure out of both ends and, and the interior guys, which was an emphasis of ours at halftime, was trying to get more pressure up the middle. You know, they converge on them and, uh, and get the safety here. Going into practice this week, what are you telling your players? What are you emphasizing um, going into Wisconsin Lutheran on the road? Well, number one, uh, you know, we can't let this score carry over. We never let negatives or positives carry over, that we have to move on to the next. So, but mainly focused on in, improving us. You know, we had a lot of MAs on offense, so we're trying to clean those up. I'm sure the entire L2 community liked what they saw last Saturday. We look forward to talking to you next week after hopefully another big win against Wisconsin Lutheran. Thanks for joining us, Coach. Thank you, Gabe. Appreciate it. Hi, everyone. I'm Jason Ross, Jr., the voice of LTU Athletics. We will be live streaming every Blue Devils home game on the LTU Sports Network. To keep up with all the action, follow the LTU Athletics Facebook page. And coming up, we have an inside look at the brand new Lawrence Tech Marching Band, along with an exclusive interview with men's and women's tennis head coach, Steve Bemlander. So don't go anywhere. I love working for Strike. I am genuinely excited to come to work every day. We support each other and look out for each other. I love Stryker because we are like a family. At Stryker, I own my career. There are so many different places Stryker can take me in the next five years. Together with our customers, we are driven to make healthcare better. Great people with a strong mission and values can accomplish great things together. You've worked hard to raise your family and build a happy life for them. Don't let unforeseen circumstances jeopardize everything you've built. Planning for Your Future is a law firm that makes it easy and affordable to protect your family with estate planning, wills, trusts, deeds, power of attorney, minor, and elder care. The experts at Planning for Your Future will meet with you, prepare your documents, and make sure you understand what each does. So contact Planning for Your Future today to set up your free phone consultation. Because your future begins now. Since the dawn of man, storytelling has been the most effective and engaging means of communication. Whether gathered around the warm glow of a fireplace or the family television set, 
A compelling story has always moved people to action. At Yellow Flag Productions, the Emmy-winning storytellers behind our television programs are now helping clients create content that emphasizes their people and passions. Let us tell your story and share it with the world. Fundraising should be fresh, flavorful, and simple. We have the perfect solution at Hungry Howie's, Dough Razor. Your team or school can sell paper pizza certificates that can be redeemed for one medium pizza at participating locations. Hungry Howie's makes it easy. It's just a little mini pizza box, and we make lots of money, lots of dough. Go to DoughRazor.com to learn more and sign up. Your next fundraiser comes with flavored crust. Welcome to Hungry Howie's Dough Razor. Time now to take a look inside Lawrence Technological University. This was welcome week at LTU, and we caught up with some freshmen to find out why they chose Lawrence Tech and what are they most looking forward to as they embark on their college careers. I decided to come to LTU mainly for the information technology program, um, but I'm also receiving a bowling scholarship, so I wanted to do that as well, so it'll be fun to compete for college. <laughs> I came to LTU to start up the football program. It's the tradition that we get to start now for the future generations to come here and uh, maybe hopefully some winning tradition. I'm excited to come to LTU because I know that I'll learn to know other people that are like me and I'll be able to make those connections in the real world. I feel like that everyone should put serious thought into coming here because at the end of the day it is a great program, great school. There is something for every student at Lawrence Tech, including you. Hey, sign up for the next Blue and White Days, a campus visit that includes a tour with current students, lunch with faculty, and everything you need to know about attending one of the best schools in the Midwest. For more information on Lawrence Technological University, head over to ltu.edu right now. My name is Chris Sarwatka and I'm a midfielder for Lawrence Tech soccer team. My favorite athlete is Cristiano Ronaldo. My favorite food is sushi. I prefer Marvel over Justice League. My favorite TV show is The Office. My favorite childhood cartoon character is SpongeBob SquarePants. I was rooting for Poland in this year's World Cup. My favorite sports team is Manchester United. My favorite dream destination is Australia. I prefer Netflix over Hulu. My favorite Kardashian is Scott Disick. The truth of the matter is, is being the first uh, director of bands here at Lawrence Tech, uh, starting up the marching band has been a fantastic opportunity, uh, not only for myself, but as uh, the students as well. And so then when I found out that there was this big opportunity that we were going to start up a marching band and how different that was going to be from anything I'd ever experienced, I was very excited. It's been something completely different than what I experienced in high school. We are learning how to march together because we are culminating various types of marching that everyone has experienced and learning it on the spot. We've really been going through uh, trying to instill a sense of leadership in all of our students and uh, let the natural leaders uh, really come um, through, um, not specifically like by age or by instrument, uh, but really letting each student kind of shine in terms of what they're um, comfortable with and really successful with. Um, so really it's one band, one sound, and everyone putting in 110% every time we get together. It's been one of our focuses. Uh, we try to balance between doubles and singles. Um, Early on it's mostly doubles simply because the kids are better singles players and they haven't played much doubles and so we try to uh, we try to balance it out as best we can, focus on doubles. It is, it's a tough it's a tough job because it goes past just the tennis ability, it goes to the uh, uh, the relationship between the two players. Um, there are just a bunch of things that go into that, but if you find two players who get along as teammates and get along as friends, that's kind of the first hurdle. We'll, we'll mix up our drills, uh, we'll go hard um, the next uh, four days, uh, next week uh, before the match we'll start to uh, taper as we get closer to the match. We've had some success against Adrian in the last couple of years so uh, we'll just prepare for them, take a look at their roster, take a look at uh, prior results and go forward from there. The support's got to be court one through six, it just has to be. Uh, if I'm busting my butt on court six I certainly want to make sure that uh, everybody else is cheering for me down uh, courts one, two and three. I learned that uh, they're quickly becoming a team. They're becoming uh, that their friendships are starting to uh, starting to form, and that's the best part of it. 
All right, guys, coming up this fall, we have not one but two different podcasts coming up for you. First is our LTU Coaches Show, which is held at Shields Pizza over on 10 and Telegraph in Southfield every Tuesday night at 7 p.m. Our second podcast is called Riding the Pine with coaches Mike Davis and Nick Holton of the LTU football team. They will compete against various student athletes in their selective sport and get to know them a little bit better each week. Don't go anywhere because coming up next, we will sit down with coach Ed Rule and Brittany Schmidt of the women's volleyball team. It's tough to improve on an original, and SNEF Camp is Metro Detroit's original Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram dealer. We sell vehicles that are up for a challenge, and when it comes to our sales and service experience, that's the same way we do business. This is who we are, and this is what we do. Don't miss Jeep Adventure Days at SNEF Camp on Telegraph at Plymouth Road in Redford. SNEF Camp, Metro Detroit's original. SNEF Camp, SNEF Camp. Are you stuck in your job? Getting frustrated playing the waiting game for the next opportunity to advance your career? Let Blue Chip Talent help. As an award-winning talent acquisition company, our specialty is matching candidates with careers in IT and engineering. At Blue Chip Talent, we take a laser-focused approach to reaching your career goals. We have access to jobs you won't find anywhere else to help advance your career faster and easier. Plus, we take care of you. Employees receive industry-leading benefits and competitive perks. Don't waste another minute worrying because we are ridiculously good at advancing careers. Southfield truly is the ideal place to live, work, and play. Well, it's a very uh, exciting time in the city of Southfield. Great neighborhoods, great city services, and Fortune 500 companies. Southfield has something for everyone. Recognized as Michigan's premier business address, home to world-class educational institutions, voted one of the nation's most livable metro area suburbs. Southfield is the center of it all. In the season opening tournament, the ladies volleyball team was set for a doubleheader at U of M Dearborn. Taking on the Goshen College Maple Leafs from Indiana in the first match, the girls were looking strong from the start as junior Valvara Gromakova's spike is too much to handle. The Blue Devils would take the first set 25 to 21. After dominating the second set by 15, LT was ready to finish the match in the third. Freshman Alicia Vipashan sets it up for junior Christy Doherty, who lets off a missile for the kill. The ladies take the last set 25 to 17 and win game one with an impressive sweep that upped their momentum. Game two proved to be a bit more of a challenge against the Bison from Point Park University in Pennsylvania. In the first, some good back and forth from both teams as the Bison were looking to be a solid match, but sophomore Zakia Hunt would put a halt to the volley as she stuffs the Point Park offensive. Devils take the set 26 to 24. After splitting the next two sets, the girls were looking to finish it. A nice save by Lexi Zimoniak keeps the volley alive long enough for it to get back over the net, and this time it's Hunt getting it done on the attack for the kill. The Lady Blue Devils take the match in four sets and started the season off on a good note. Hey guys, I'm Kier Hey here with Brittany Schmidt, captain of the volleyball team. We're at LTU's Don Riddler's Fieldhouse. Brittany, how are you today? I'm good, how are you? Good. So I know you guys are having a great season so far. What do you think has been uh, so far your success? Well, we have a lot of new players this year and they're really bringing a lot in the backcourt as far as passing and um, everybody's just really working together a lot more this year, um, giving a lot of effort. We're really putting everything out there when we play. So, What is the team atmosphere like this year compared to other seasons? Um, so the team atmosphere this year reminds me of a lot of my freshman year where there's a lot of freshmen but also a lot of upperclassmen and everybody's really working together well. Um, you know, we hang out outside of volleyball which is really nice. We've had a lot of cool trips uh, to Mackinac and things like that. So we're really just a big family this year and that's something that we're really trying to like emphasize and stress to everybody. So. You guys are having an amazing season so far, and I can't wait to see what you guys do the rest of the season. Thank you. All right, guys, now I'm joined by the head women's volleyball coach, Ed Rule. How are you doing today? I'm doing great, thank you. Good, this is your second year as the head coach. How do you think uh, things have been going so far? Well, I think it's been going great. I think our, our staff has got uh, us refocused, and we're doing a great job from 
uh, managing of the incoming recruits and then uh, uh, managing the kids that were here before and changing the culture to a more positive aspect. And doing great, coming together. What is one of the things you really drill home to your team every week? What is the one quality you want them to have? Well, I think part of that is compete every ball. Uh, that's one of those things that not all programs do that, but if I can get them to compete every ball, we're doing great. So when's the season opener? Uh, September 5th, we're, we're playing U of M Dearborn here. It'll be a Hawaiian night. I invite everybody to come out and watch us play. And well, thanks so much for talking with us and good luck on the rest of your season. Thank you so much. After electing to receive to begin the half, LTU was hungry to put some points on the board. On first down, quarterback Tyler Kolka on the run, heaves one deep for Spencer Iaquinto, who brings it down for the first Blue Devils touchdown in the modern era. Coming up this week in LTU Athletics, we have women's soccer taking on Purdue Northwest at 7 p.m. on Tuesday, September 4th at the LTU Athletic Field. Also Tuesday is the LTU Coaches Show with Jeff Duvendeck at Shields Pizza in Southfield on Telegraph at 7 p.m. Wednesday, September 8th, the volleyball team has their home opener against conference foe U of M Dearborn in the Don Riddler Fieldhouse at 7 p.m. Friday the 7th will be men's soccer facing off with Calumet College of St. Joseph at noon on the LTU field to kick off the Blue Devil Classic that will conclude on Saturday the 8th. The football team travels to Wisconsin Lutheran on Saturday for a 2 p.m. kickoff time, marking the program's first row game since November of 1946. It has been an amazing first week back on campus for our student athletes, and we hope you've enjoyed our first episode of the L2 Sports Report. Yeah, and next week we'll have more highlights and exclusive insights on all your favorite fall teams. But in the meantime, interact with us on social media. Follow L2 Athletics on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. So until next time, I'm Kiara Hay. And I'm Gabe O'Neill. And go, go Blue, Blue Devils! Devils. LTU Sports Report is brought to you by Varsity Brands, elevating student experiences and sport, spirit, and achievement. The City of Southfield, the center of it all. Michigan First Credit Union. Sneth Camp Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram, serving Metro Detroit since 1926. Hungry Howie's Dough Razor, your next fundraiser comes with flavored crust. Striker, discover your strengths and follow your passion with us.